So I wasn't gonna vlog this. I changed my mind. Hey, how we doing? This motherfucker. It's Friday, tw uh, May 27th, 2022. Yeah, I'm late, what do you know? It's about one o'clock. If you've watched any vlogs before, you know I usually get there around qualifying weekend. I love qualifying, but no bump day this year. Oh, and by the way, gas prices are like five bucks a gallon. Not good. But I'm gonna hightail it for the weekend. A little 500, Indy 500. Can't miss it. Anything in between. Boris loaded up. We got the uh, <laughs> Firecracker 400 winning uh, <laughs> sim rig, I guess. Um, pieces bundled up. Uh, monitor stain, all that stuff. It's going to my man Brody. Uh, he's getting some older stuff. Gonna hook him up and uh, get him all set up so he can get back racing, man. I'm excited. Extra wheel just in case. There's one thing I learned from driving through Ohio and Indiana. You're going to need as many wheels as you can get. All right. Man, the vlogs have been few and far between for a while. You know why? God damn. I don't know where the hell I'll be next, but I hopefully have some cool stuff into the year for sure. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. $73 to fill up tank of gas. This is why I don't go anywhere no more. Y'all know what it is. I love me some Taco Bell, but it's always tradition to send it on some McDonald's. And why wow, wait, we gotta tell you what the hell's going on. Uh oh, never mind, hold on. If you watched one of these before, well, you know the deal. If not, you about to see one of the coolest races you've probably never heard of, and the Indianapolis 500. That's pretty cool too. All right, well, I'm gonna get the hell on. Uh, eight hours to Indianapolis. It is 2.09. It is carb day in Indianapolis. I've heard reports that uh, Malukas is wrecked uh, in final practice. Tough break. I wish I was there. Be there soon. Thanks for watching. I hope the vlog don't suck. Alright, here's your yearly update. Columbus, Ohio, downtown. Still fucking broke. <laughs> but we'll finish first. Downtown Columbus. The Kyle Larson Championship career mode thing. I don't know. Find out in 2040 something. Fuck's sake. Gang, it's been a minute. I am so excited. There it is. They got the damn choose cone here at Kane's. Holy shit. Oh, where's this dude going? That's good. I am so excited. These things smell so good. I don't know where the hell I'm at. The only Canes I've ever been to is the one in Heath, Ohio, which I accidentally stopped at. Um, not at the Canes, but in Heath uh, for like some gas, you know, and stuff. Um, so uh, I guess we'll test out uh, how consistent Canes is. This is my third experience. Oh, let me tell y'all. Mm -mm. Oh, I wish y'all could smell it. Oh, so good. You can feel the warmth. Look at that. All right, y'all ready for this? Oh, I'm excited. Oh. oh, you can feel the heat rising. Oh man, I'm a sucker for a good hot meal. And seven bucks too. What was it? Seven where down my receipt go? Uh seven uh seven forty nine. That's a fucking that's a damn deal right there. Ooh, got the bread. I just got this little three piece uh bad boy. The cane sauce. Um ten and ten would recommend. I did a full wind valve food review on this uh stuff. Check out Win Win Val Food Reviews on YouTube, I guess. Um, tremendous stuff. Tremendous stuff if you haven't tried it. All right. All right, hold on. Before I let you go. All right, just one small critique. I was sitting here working on my bread and working on some fries. Right about to dive into these tenders. But then I was like, what the hell? Some small ass tenders, man. What the hell are you doing? This one's got like a third leg or something. I don't know what's going on there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like they had a little bit more girth last time. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch the Winval food review, I guess. I don't know. Either way, I, I'm sure they taste just fine, but, you know, like them girthy tenders, man. Get all you can get. All right, that's it. Uh, Canes is still awesome. We'll see you in the next clip. Good afternoon. Howdy. It is Saturday. Uh, what's the date? 20... 28th. 28th. May 2022. It is 3.57 in the afternoon here in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we're going to see one of the coolest races on planet Earth. How would you describe it to somebody who's never seen it or know nothing about it? It's uh, kind of like a baby between the Indy 500 and Bristol, 
Is that, uh, that's <laughs> honestly, that's, that's, that's a pretty good, uh, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Um, quarter mile, high bank, which is like bullring, 33 pavement sprint cars, and a figure eight pit lane. Yeah. For 500 laps, is about the coolest shit you'll ever see. Stardom three wide. Yep. So, so we're going to see uh, Eli, a huge race fan, and we're going to get on up there. I got in late last night, like 10 o'clock. I got updates on that Canes. That second Canes, never been in that Canes before. That's the second Canes ever been to. I got to say, it wasn't as good as the first two times. I don't know if it was just that location that was not good, but uh, the, the tenders were... Uh, the breading was a little kind of soggy and that was disappointing and they were, they were especially a little bit smaller than I remember anyway so I just wanted to report back uh, it was still overall a good experience I think it might have just been that one Canes I think I'm gonna stick to the Heath Ohio one until apparently there's one open in an Avon uh, we're gonna have to investigate that whenever that happens but um do you got anything you want to say first time first uh, uh, first appearance of the year hi I'm back <laughs> that's all I got for now that'll do Oh, they don't have the little uh, rabbit or whatever the hell was on the side of that building. That's disappointing. Oh, Mav TV. All right, we're gonna give you an exclusive look at the Anderson uh, menu. And what I want to show you, six dollar tenderloin. IMS could never. What we got going on over here? Ooh, wee. That looks, man, that looks good. I might get one of those before this damn race starts. Goodness gracious! Oh God. Yeah, give us a, give us a chomp. We gotta we gotta get a review on this. This is straight from Anderson, Anderson, Indiana. I've not seen this product. That looked like a hell of a chomp. Oh man! Now he's in between that pit cart and. Oh, I see him back there. I see him, ladies and gentlemen. Wait for it, Eli, huge race fan. Yeah, we rode up here with him. I should have fucking got him on the vlog before he we went in the track. I don't know. I didn't say something, but we'll see him after. Yeah. He's shooting tonight. Hope we get some good ones. All right, I'm sitting here working on this tenderloin. I've just had a realization. If you look at the walls, it's not the Payless Little 500 anymore. And you even told me it wasn't. Yeah. But I just now put it together. I'm kind of sad about that. But that's that's always what it's been since yeah. I've been gone. And now it's with this Lucas Oil. Yeah, Lucas Oil. They went corporate. Tragic. <laughs> They fix boo-boos. That's a boo-boo. <laughs> Network and uh, everybody involved. Ryan Newman is uh, here. Uh, somewhere uh, in there. You know, lots of and uh, you know, personally, this. we're booing him. One thing I want to talk because to of, uh, about here. Well, you know. So let's take a look here. Oh, he got a little help down in the corner. Looks like possibly Ryan Newman. I hate yeah. to. Leo Karras, I'm Kenny! Sponsor number 67. Yeah. Two years ago was his best finish. He's the field for the 74. <laughs> Lucas Breaking Lula, news, Ryan Newman Pretty is balding. Alright, about to get going. Final thoughts? I'm ready. Me too. Like you pointed out, <laughs> the, one of the cool things about this race is cars continually drop out of the race. Would you call them the end zones down here? Yeah. It's almost kind of like Monster Jam in effect. They just kind of leave them out here in the uh, the, <laughs> the fields in the corners, and you'll you'll see them build up. Uh oh. To the front straightaway near the finish line area, Kenny Stillman joins us again for the singing. Back home again. Whoopee. And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you're right, dude. It let's get it on. Come on. I agree. Let's get it. Also, shout out to this dude. 
It's just like standing on top of the sweets over here. Yeah, these are the sweets, by the way. Me and Brody were talking about it earlier. We're going to get a sweet one of these times. We're going to sponsor the race and get a sweet. I don't know what year that's going to be, but one of these times. Pull <laughs> cool, our resources together. We can make it happen. Yeah, we can make it happen. You know what I'd like to make happen? The start of this race. There it is. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Whoopee. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, it's such a beautiful night, man. I'm so excited. It's gonna. It always takes them a minute to get rolling here, but uh, get everybody pushed off. Full field, 33. Gonna start these bad boys three wide. I'm telling you, 500 laps. Doesn't get much better. Here comes Renis BK charging up below. No run this time. Will Power just getting past? Power getting past by. Well, I was going to take it right here. Oh, there it goes. Slides back in line. Alright, everybody's got going. Newman start P8. Where's Kenny starting? Way in the back. Way in the back. Well, Eli said he qualified greater than he usually does, right? He's in there somewhere, yeah. This is the part where they try to get everybody lined up three wide. It takes a minute. We're getting there. Oh, man, I'm so excited.
left front. Somebody came in and clipped him in the left front. He's bugged. Yeah, bless it. Beautiful sunset here. It's bright as shit for the first stage of the race usually. Yeah, look at this shit. That ain't good. Well, that sucks. I think we're on our third caution. It's lap 91. The end zone grows. pit stops we've had some pit stops but it's already a mess they're looking for a push truck i don't know what the hell's going on with this guy he finally got him this dude's already out uh pit stop they're trying he's pissed oh my god yeah what a burnout holy shit damn look at them tracks fuck yeah he was the one who just, that's the last caution. He uh, went up here and hit one of the water barrels. I'm telling you, this race is incredible, man. We're about to get this shit back rolling. 145. This is pit stop time once again. This is a big round of pit stops right here. A lot of the leaders. Look at this shit. We'll see how it gets out first. This is interesting because there's not a lot of push trucks. And here they come around the other side. This is new. They kind of have it split in half this year. They didn't have anything in between. Oh, man. This crew's already on it. This is going to get interesting. They're not going to have enough trucks, man. That's a lot of pit stops. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. All right. They got out kind of over there. Everybody's waving. Everybody is waving. Everybody's waving. They're trying to push down there. Here goes Swanson. Some of these guys are trying to get somebody out here. They're, just, they're done. No collisions. Damn. There they go. Is that Newman? Yeah, it was Newman. shit happened quick. I saw somebody get turned around and he, I guess he didn't have anywhere to go and wheel hopped. Yeah, there it is. The end zone grows. Super safe.
tempers. Tempers. Uh oh, we got tempers. Flaring in the Anderson parking lot. I think they're settled down. We about had us one there. <laughs> he said, what did he say? <laughs> Yeah, he's like, he's a, you call it an asshole or something. The zipper merge. <laughs> Some people got to learn, man. One way or the other. I'm, oh, it. shit. <laughs> Wait, let's hear it. What, what are the thoughts? Huge, huge, Eli, huge race fan. Huge race fan. <laughs> How are we doing tonight? Oh, we're doing great. Huh? Yeah, I just watched 500 laps and I don't even know what happened. <laughs> it's a great night. Our guy. There's a Taco Bell. Thank you. Oh, maybe I don't mind if I do. Since we can't do 7x7s seven anymore, apparently I have to this uh, little 500. <laughs> Taco, Ta Bell. Taco Bell is our best effort. <laughs> Pain. That's alright. Unfortunately, they're out of everything tonight. No Mexican pizza, no nothing, no. Damn. I don't even know what the hell I got. It's uh, 13. Supreme, <laughs> yeah, it's 13 o'clock, um, the morning before the Indy 500. Fun. Look at this shit. It's fucking time, baby. Look at this damn crowd. How about this shit? I fucking love it, man. It's only one race you're gonna see a crowd like this. This is like Indy 500, like 2016 vibes. Hunter's running. Fucking A, man. <coughs> oh man, there's a lot of scooters. <laughs> there's so many damn people here. What time is it? Like 10 a.m.? 10.09 a.m. Race don't start for like over two hours. Mm. Fans, the Purdue All-American Marching Band has taken their position on... I don't know what the hell this is. This is shit's gonna go down. That's crazy, man. You got the time? It's like 10.40 something, isn't it? 10.30. 10.30. There's so many people. We're going on a donut search. This shit's nuts. 10.30 a.m., dude. This place is gonna be rocking when this shit gets rolling, dude. Crazy. All right, so y'all remember the Titus, Titus Donuts. It's gone. Now we got Founders Grounds. See what they got with them donuts. The line is out in the damn building. Goodness gracious. Got the museum. I want a damn donut. <laughs> now an IMS. Traditions, yay. I, I saw, I saw a Specialty donut. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh man. Look at that. Okay. Alright folks, we're here with the maple bacon donut, but this is the, uh, what's this place called again? I can't remember. I got it, I got it on the sign earlier. I can't. Yeah. Founders Grounds. Yes. Founders Grounds. Alright, we, they have got their version of the maple bacon donut. Who's going first? I'll go. If you put maple syrup on a Waffle House um, waffle and get some bacon on it, that's oh, this. okay, it's getting high reviews here. Okay. Uh huh. It tastes that's like a Waffle stuff. House waffle. Okay. Okay. This is bad boy too. Just look at this. Compared yeah. to the maple bacon donut the last time, it was 2018. Look at this. Look at that bacon distribution. Oh yeah. See, it's all kind. Of, it's everywhere. It's going crazy. I don't know how to feel about it, but it looks wild. It's good. Get this on the crumpies menu. I bet they can make a hell out of one of these. Oh goodness! All right. 
All right, last little thing before we get situated here. You got the time? We're getting close. 11.13. 11.13, baby. I'm gonna go down here and get a program. I like getting a program. Uh, it's just packing in. That, that donut hit me funny. I was about to throw up. I yeah. couldn't get that last bite. I don't know what's wrong with my stomach. But uh, not not a lot of sleep, uh, not a lot to eat. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. I think the sugar is what got me. But that shit was still fire, though. Let me tell you. I don't know if it was quite as good as the tits donuts. Yeah, because you got more bacon on the tits. Yeah, but I think it was more evenly distributed, and the icing wasn't as messy. I don't know. I still give it at least a nine. It was in the elite tier. Yeah. Well, why don't we get a damn program? Look at this shit, man. Seeing it from the infield, it's crazy to see how many people are in the grandstands already. It's, I mean, there's nothing like this place, man. This is, it's, it's awesome. All right, we had an update shift from Anderson. Eleven dollar pork tenderloin. Get the fuck out of here. Program, four time. You think Elio wins a fifth? Nah, starting deep. He is starting deep. It's gonna be hard to win it from that deep. Maybe not this year. I don't know how many years do you think he's got left because he can't, like, yeah, realistically. I think it's a one-year contract with Shanks, so yeah. we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be today, but if he wins five, this place is going to go nuts. Uh-oh. It's been inflated. We got a man on a bike. It's about to go down. Uh, All right, it's time for this dude. Action out there? Yes, I Let's is. It's Alan Bestwick, by the way. Here we Hello, go. Alan. All right, let's see the thing. Turn two, turn four. Look at that ramp. That's where the action is right now. Wow. That's scary, is it? <laughs> that looks a little scary. Once you get used to it, they're really... Oh, this is going to um, be a little more just exciting. just like anything. You get practice it up, you get good at it, you get comfortable. All right, that's pretty cool. You know, Kenny's throwing some crazy tricks out there. On to row number four. He captured four Brickyard 400 championships here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and makes his Indy 500 debut today. Jimmy Johnson. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a more warm reaction, to be honest with you. His fourth Indy 500 from Sweden. Four Marcus Let's go, Marcus. Wow. All right. Oh, fuck, I scanned that shit, get my NFT. Ah, they took it away. So, what they did was they just took this ramp from something else and they put like a cover over it. The hell is Cowboy Kenny's? <laughs> and the rocket's red. Even the infield, it's so crazy. I don't think I've ever seen it packed like that. Other than maybe the hundredth running, so so dense down there on the inside of the track. Obviously up here, there's. I mean, you can look down in turn three, complies just packed everywhere. Unbelievable. Come on, Jim, let's hear it.
Oh shit! Can we get on with the it? The Indianapolis Five. We get it. Great track. Great event. Come on. Be safe. Have fun. And now for the command. Drivers, start oh. your engine. Yeah. There it is. All right. Whoopee. And here we go. It's time for some fun on best week. Let's get busy. Head on. Eye lot, I think. 
leader. Back in the F1 grid, F1 my team. That was a big wreck. I didn't have the GoPro over that. Just missed it. It's too hot out here. It's dying from the heat. Wow. That was a big one. That Dixon. at this point. I think TK is in the, in the best spot. Obviously, you watching this, you already know what the hell happened. TK, most experience up there. P3. The slipstream is going to be too powerful. Marcus is probably going to get passed off the rim. I hope this man wins, though. Come on, Marcus. Oh, man. I know Rossi's going to be super, super aggressive on this restart. Hey, nobody's sitting down at this point. So it's always incredible, man. Everybody's standing up. Oh, look at this. This is it, man. This is it. All come 
comes down to this, man. The whole month practice qualifies. This entire 500 mile race comes down to this final two laps. Nobody knows who Marcus Erickson is. Even when he won, everybody was like, what? I'm sitting over here going fucking nuts. I've lost my voice. Dude, this is like, what? What? What alternate reality is this? My man Marcus, holy shit. Oh, man. The fucking milk, baby. There it is. Let's fucking go. Ah, oh, it's so awesome, dude. You got buttermilk. That is so awesome. <laughs> Oh man! Now we gotta wait for the, the the victory lap. I will be screaming at Marcus. Coming towards the sweets, the backstretch. Everybody in the infield still hanging around. Let's go. This is what like 300,000 people looks like trying to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's fucking wild, man. It's the post-race meal. This is my second ever career time as a shitty angle, but it's Culver's, baby. Um, so I don't even want to flip this camera around and show you my suntan. It's not good. Oh, man. I got a damn shake. I got some like marshmallow cream and some cookie dough in there, I guess. I don't know. I got some Culver's root beer. Butter burger, all kinds of stuff. I'm so excited right now. Look at how burnt my hand is right now. I don't know why I didn't put sunscreen on my hands. Um, my, I made it to my arm. Christ. Come on, Liz. There you go. Come on. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, shit. Oh, who was it? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> They're kissing. <laughs> oh, man. I am excited. You can't see shit. There it goes. <laughs> Shake Shack. Try number two. <laughs> Try number two. We're looking at this. Burgers, frozen custard, fries, shakes, hot dogs, and some concretes. <laughs> I didn't see any concretes on the menu. I'm sad. All right, I am super excited. Look at this. Look at this bit of cheese, fry, bacon. Oh my holy! Oh my goodness! And then I got this barbecue. What's it? What's it called? Bourbon something? Something like that. Barbecue Some, bourbon burger. Right? Yeah, barbecue bur. Oh man, it's oh oh my. Does that, does that look good or what? Oh my goodness. You got the same thing. We were sitting here talking. I think uh, this is like bougie steak and shake. I got this like uh, Shake Shack homemade lemonade, whatever the hell. Just gonna try it. Sounded good. Here we go. Um, oh yeah, big old chomp. You got the same burger as me, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is it? Solid first bite. Productive first bite. Okay. Oh my god. I'm just. I can't get over this. Look how beautiful. Oh, it's such a beautiful night here, by the way. Um, but like, my goodness. Oh. Oh we. Dolby Cinema. 
I'm burnt. Oh, jeez, I'm burnt. Oh, man. I didn't realize how bad it was until I took out the video camera. I, I've looked at myself plenty of times today. I don't know how this happened. I, I need I, I need to go, I need an ebook on sunscreen uh, performance yeah. and, and, uh, and, and how you need to do it. But, um, all right, we need to catch up. Mark Erickson won the fucking Indy 500. Yes, Jesus Christ, did. that is something else. What did you think of the race? Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, uh, lots of... Uh, Lots of just like, I feel like we were talking about it near the end of the fuel run and the tire run. That's when the yellows would come out, and yeah. that kept us changing, mm -hmm. changing things up. Yeah, it was like, do you go long or do you undercut it? And it's like, um, and I, it definitely had a, a much interesting flow than last year. I, um, but it was like, dude, it was so crazy. I was watching Marcus. He was he was floating like fifth, sixth, third, fourth, like all day, and just when it came down to it, he just like fucking let her rip out like I've never seen like I didn't think Marcus had that had that extra gear in him but like he like he see he came he saw and he conquered that shit there at the end right, once he gapped the McLarens that was it uh huh was it so Shake Shack review yeah. we both got the same burger what'd you think at, uh thoughts and then a 1 out of 10 um, right, I guess you're at a 10 rating but so uh, I also got a root beer uh root beer was okay um uh, that seems, root beer seems to be a thing in Indiana. I could definitely get a better glass around here. Yeah. Same um, with my lemonade. It was all right. Could have been better. The burger but, right. was good. Uh, they had like this weird sauce thing, like bacon pepper sauce stuff. Uh, it was a little sweet, but not bad. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a bougie steak and shake. That's what we've been mm -hmm. saying. It is the bougie steak and shake. That's, it's, that's about right. I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, we'll give her a, a seven. Seven. Yeah. That's up from what, what, what it was last time. What was it like? I I it, well, we didn't do the vlog last yeah. time, and I don't remember what you <laughs> rated it. But I was surprised that it would be that low. Because I think it's got to be higher than that. But you might just have a lower scale. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the way I look at it, I the, the cheese bacon fries, that's that's like elite. Like 9.5, somewhere mm -hmm. up there for the for those. Mm -hmm. Uh, I still got my lemonade. I, we got to talk about this dude came out. He was so nice. He was like, hello, sir. Uh, uh, <laughs> is there anything I can do for you today? And he spoke real nice and soft. And I was like, uh, and he's like, may I get you a refill? And I didn't know. I don't know what to say, but I was like, absolutely. I guess I don't, if it's free, I don't know. I guess I don't know. I got another lemonade. It wasn't even that good, but I'll take another one. Absolutely. Um, that was, that was kind of weird. We were just sitting out there enjoying the, the sunset and whatever, you know, and the bacon cheese fries. Um, but the burger itself, um, I didn't like it as much. And the only reason I'm not, I didn't like the sweet sauce. I'm, I, I didn't, I didn't enjoy the, the sweet as much. Um, but I respected the burger itself and I think, uh, uh, it was a good burger. It just wasn't exactly my taste. I think moving to the single was definitely, uh, yeah, so we did doubles the last time and it was like, sometimes when you go doubles, like, all right, you get a lot of meat, but it's, you kind of miss yeah. out on the rest of the burger. But it was like, we'll bring it down to a single, but I, I want to do a single of the, the actual burger they got yeah, there. The like the, burger, the, the main burger. We got this like bourbon whoop de doo yeah. uh, burger. But I got to say, if I had to rate it, it's, it's getting probably at 8.9, 9.0 out of me. It's, it's it, it's okay. it's probably up there in that elite tier. It's I gotta say, Shake Shack made two two attempts at it. Yeah. Now granted, a little expensive, a little expensive, but little you're paying for that extra. I, I like what they got going on there. I like how you can like buy dog biscuits or whatever on the menu. They got the little kiosk set up. Yeah. Um, the dude who gives you free that. refills, I guess. I don't know. He seemed very nice. Yeah. Um, what else they got? They the got all. Bowl. Yeah, they, they have a little dog bowl outside. You bring your dog, all that shit. Um, they had uh, a cornhole. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Indiana staple. It's a nice, yeah, it's a nice little joint. I like that place, man. That's a, a great time at the Shake Shack. Uh, Y'all gotta try it if you haven't already. Uh, if you have, let me know what you what your thoughts. Um, but yeah, this is probably our last uh, one of the last vlog updates. We're here at the uh, AMC, IMAX, and Dolby Cinema to see Top Gun Maverick. I'm super excited. Um, Cause this is one of the movies that like one of the hype movies that was announced either b before. Uh, or during COVID, and it got pushed way, way back. I think it was, it had to have been before, um, but it got pushed back a long time, and well, it's fucking time. I don't know what the hell Dolby Cinema is. I Googled it, got a brief summary, and that shit sounds cool, and I think this is the movie to see it, so we're gonna give you a, a re review after that. But um, like I said, hopefully the vlog hadn't sucked. Uh, Indianapolis is cool as shit, um, and I appreciate a good race that doesn't have stages. That Coke 600, Jesus Christ.
They yeah, fucking wreck it every 20 laps and then have the stages in between. That yeah. shit was driving me nuts. I fell asleep and I woke up to the 17 on his lid. Um, that was some crazy shit. That was a, it was a decent race between the yellows, though. Yeah, I wish they could out. race a little bit more. Those cars, they, they definitely have a lot more potential than that 550 horse packet, uh, horsepower package bullshit they were doing last year. But um, still, it's like, holy shit, if it's not a tire, it's somebody fucking, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's shit. an arrow loose or someone doing yeah, this. Denny Hamlin. Snapping like Indy cars, man. It's, it's just, it's weird, man. It's weird to watch. It's, it's kind of gross sometimes, but uh, yeah. it is what it is. Um, but either way. Uh, it's Top Gun Maverick time. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought of it. All I've heard is good things from this yeah. movie, so I don't know what's about to go down, but I'm I'm very excited. All right, then. Any final words? Nope. Oh, my God. What is this? This looks incredible. All right, it's movie review time. It is 11.50 at night. <laughs> we just got out of Top Gun. Uh, first off, the Dolby Cinema shit was nuts. Oh, yeah. uh, they had speakers on the ceiling, all along the sides, underneath the seats. Uh, and this was the perfect fucking movie for that, let me tell you. Every pass by, every fucking fast moment with the jets going by, holy shit. You felt every little bit of it. Was that shit not cool or that what? Was, yeah, totally the way to see it. If you have a Dolby Cinema, go to one. Absolutely. Awesome. Let me... Look at this shit. Dolby Cinema. Dude, that shit was sick. Yeah, even the like the the screen, they got the two 4K projectors set up. Um, but yeah, the movie itself, man, solid, very solid, very fucking solid. I, all I heard was good things from this movie, and this shit was nuts. Very authentic. Everything looked really good. Um, damn, man, it was just like it was. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything you could want from Top Gun too. Ah, <laughs> dude, I like they rarely come out with a sequel that's like you know up to par but i feel like they they hit the nail on the fucking head with that movie man it was it felt like top gun it was authentic it was uh, it was laid out really good i loved every bit of it man <laughs> the, the bit in the beginning where he's going mach 10 uh when they're trying to pull the program oh man that's that dude awesome. so good that's a good shit 10 out of 10 would recommend uh if you've seen the movie let me know what you thought but for that we'll be seeing you all right well this is it. We'll be seeing you in Indianapolis. Brody, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been fun. Good races. Good movie. Absolutely. Good That's all you could ask for. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, man. Phenomenal time. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I guess we'll do it again for NASCAR Week. Yeah. Is that right? We'll be back in July. We'll be back in July. We'll be seeing you. Where's Cat? Where's Cat? Oh, hi, 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 hi. Oh, ah.